Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the FA18C and we're looking at the use of JDAMs. We've already done a comprehensive video showing how to use the two modes of the JDAM, that's TOO, Target of Opportunity, and PP, Pre-Plan. In that video we used Waypoint Designation to, if you like, aim the bombs in TOO mode and we showed dropping them singly and rippling them up to eight at a time on eight targets. For the pre-plan mode we did designation through lat long through the UFC we typed in the lat long numbers here and we showed that you can drop those bombs in pre-plan singly or again rippling up to eight bombs at a time on eight targets. Now what we haven't shown is using TOO via the T-Pod the Lightning 2 pod for designation for just a simple video just to showing how to drop a single bomb through a teapot so that's what you guys have requested a very quick reminder you can have jdams on pylons two three seven and eight in the form of gbu 38 ins gps guided 500 pound bomb 2000 pound bomb 2000 pound concrete piercing or a bru 55 wrap with two times gbu 38s giving us a total if we like of eight times gbu 38s for this example i'm just going to take two GBU 38s and a lightning bolt. So let's get the usual stuff down. Master arm must be on, air to ground on. We're going to, from our stores pledge, click on our J82 and we've got timing. This will count down here to seven and a half minutes. So it's two and a half minutes we've got to count until they're aligned and ready to use. In the meantime, we can do a little bit of setup. We can go from pre-plan to target of opportunity. So pre-plan is if you already know where the target is from before you even leave the base. Target of opportunity is if you find a target when you're in flight, which is of course what we're going to be doing with our teapot. We can have electric fuse and we're going to have an instant electric fuse. The next thing we want to do is we're going to get into typical configuration for an ingress. So we're going to head out to our IP. Typical ingress would be about 400 to 450 knots. I'm going to go slower because I need more talking time and angels 20. Generally the faster, the higher you're going, the more range you've got to lob the bomb. We've just hit our seven minutes and 30. So the bomb is now aligned and ready. I'm going to put my barometric hold on, which is a normal thing to do. I'm going to put my auto thrust on. That's the tango key. Next, I'm going to set my bomb up a little bit further. We're going to go to JDAM display. We're going to go to the release type. I want a manual release type. We're almost always going to want a manual release type. Next, we're going to go to a mission. Within here, we've got station seven, target of opportunity one profile, that type of bomb. We're ready now to accept data for the target. So we're going to fire up our T-Pod. This is not a T-Pod video, so we'll just get it done. Sensor switch right, slew keys down, try and find a target of some sort. RC has been bombing already, so that helps. I'm going to go for the guy on the left RC and narrow that stuff up there and once I've got my guy there I'm going to press TDC depress to copy the data over from the teapot and you can see we've now got eight digits lat long with our elevation we're pretty much ready to fire now just have a look at our HUD we are in range to drop the bomb and we'll talk about the range again in a minute we're in manual mode drop here we've got a J82 which is a GBU 38 we've got target of opportunity to type we've got an ATC on and the target that we've specified from our T-Pod is 8.6 miles if we look down here on our HSI HSD you can see that we are there there are two concentric circles this is the outer range so my plane which is here has to be within the outer range of the bomb and has to be outside of the minimum range of the bomb. You can see I'm slap bang between the concentric circles at the moment, which is perfect. Those circles are dynamic. They depend on all sorts of things. My vector, my altitude, my speed, type of bomb I'm dropping, the altitude, the target, and so on. One thing to note is that I've skewed off slightly to the left, and you can see the target is actually over to the right there slightly. So I'm gonna make a quick switch there and then drop the bomb with weapon release before I hit the inner circle. Getting a little bit closer in the circle now, so I'm now going to drop the bomb away, retrim. While that bomb's dropping, I can actually set up my next bomb. What I will do is go to TOO there, and that is all ready to accept new data. And I could actually, while that other bomb's in the air, go and select another guy. TDC, depress, the data's through, and I could actually go around and drop another one. I'll even try dropping one now. Okay, that's another one dropped. Stand by. So this is bomb one. This is bomb two. Okay, cat bomb one. Half a mile. Oh no, cat bomb one's already here. I was looking at my second bomb, my bad. Oh, and they've moved. Typical. 
Am I second bomb safe? I was following your bomb, I'm safe. Right. Uh -huh. <laughs> Not the best example, <laughs> but you can see there that my first bomb hit that target there, my second bomb hit that target there, and then RC just happened to be targeting that guy there. Note that obviously once a hostile moves, they will not seek them. They are just tracking that lat long and elevation. So that was simple. If you like single drops with TOO using the T-board, hope that was useful. See you later.